How to create some warp text in Affinity Photo version two. Of course, there are lots of ways of doing this, but this is one approach. Just go down here, artistic text tool. Set the font, set the size. I'm going with black and the word text. So with the word text, I can now use that. I want some space around it as well. So I'm just gonna create some space by simply going over here and rectangle tool. So rectangle tool and create a rectangle. So I've got that. Now that's above, obviously, the text, so just drag that down, just put it below. And you can see now you've got the word text. Just gonna go over here to layer and merge visible. So they're all gonna be merged into one layer. So merge visible. And you can see now you've got your word text there. Now, that one is not that one, I want that one. That's the one I want because it's got the rectangle and the text all together in a pixel layer. Now you can delete these ones now. So I just delete those and now work with this. Then go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. So new pattern layer from selection and now you can see you've got your pattern and you can resize it, move it around, rotate it and much, much more. But what you can also do is you can rasterize this. Now you could use the warp tool with this, but the result isn't that great. And I must admit, I find it slightly awkward to work with. So I would suggest go to layer and down to rasterize. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it, I think, easier. Layer and rasterize. And now you can work with this layer. It's no longer a pattern at this point. But what you can do, Go over here and you can select the rectangle and marquee tool. So you don't have to use the entire design, just maybe select part of it. You could use the whole lot if you wish, of course, but just select that part. And now you can walk just that. Go to filters and go to distort and mesh warp. You can also, of course, use live filter layers as well. That's another option, but here's mesh warp. This is a destructive effect. And now at this point, You've got here apply can all those sort of options along the control bar but you can see now you've got this it's placed it unfortunately outside of the selection very odd but if you move it modify it you'll notice what happens it actually distorts inside that now don't push it all the way inside unless you want to of course create that kind of effect you can just leave it outside just drag that down again now, I don't know why it didn't do it around the actual selection. It would be nice, but it doesn't. But you can squeeze it in like that. And again, go down here. And of course, you can stretch it further out. You can distort it in all number of ways. Move it around. Once you're happy with that, just go up here and apply. Now, it's a destructive effect, so you've got to be happy with that's your design. Click apply. Then go to select and deselect if that's what you want. But you can turn that also into a pattern. So you might prefer just to go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. That's what it is, it's a selection. So new pattern layer from selection and you can see your design now. Go to the move tool, here's the move tool and you can see then you can resize it. Now you've got these seams, which you may or may not want. If that's what you want, fine. But you can always go here. Click mirror, and now you can see the result. And you've got your distorted text. And you can move it back and forth, resize. Now you can't resize it too much. If you resize, you can see what happens. It doesn't look great. So obviously just keep the size fairly, fairly like that. And you've got your distorted text. Of course, there's many other ways of approaching this. Again, let's like say live filter layers, maybe even better. But this is one way of creating some distorted text. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.